Hello everyone, we will continue our case study for sales order report and in the previous video, we finished with the logic part in the function module. We have written the queries, then we simply simply combined those three internal table data into one internal table and that is a output parameter of function module export parameter of the function module now we will simply simply understand the output of this function module in the debugging mode and why this is important because in the projects whenever you will write the logic you should check step by step yes whatever the logic you have written is giving the expected output whenever you are comparing to table or not this is what we will do in this particular video firstly i will just simply change here rather than matenar i put postnar in front of matenar so i will simply simply change it to matenar by mistake i forgot to change this i will activate and now i will put a breakpoint on the first query itself parallelly i will open the table in a new session and we will see how we can work in real projects to step by step step check the output of our program so i will put a breakpoint on 41 number line Parallelly, I will go for SC11 and I will go for firstly which table? VBAA table. I will go to the contents of that table. Yes, we are using that date 23rd August. So that will be the input. To this table, I am passing the input 23rd August. Same thing I will do here also. I will run the function module. Now we will give same to same date here also. I sign is I. Option is EQ because we are going for only low value of date. Now I will go for simply execute. Step by step, we will compare everything. I will go to desktop 3. But the date we passed 23rd, it is on the right hand side. 23rd date is on the right hand side. If you see, we have the date 23rd. Anyways, username we have not given. So it's optional. Yes. So it is blank. You can say username is blank. We have not given any username. Now, based upon this date, it will fetch which column VBELN from which table VBAK and data will come into which internal table, this internal table. Same thing, I will just show you firstly in terms of table. If I want to go for VBELN column in the output, how we are doing? Settings, formal list, choose field. Because table has so many columns and we are fetching only one column. So we will see the data of that column only because you cannot check the data of so many columns together. I will deselect. I will choose select VBELN. Now, whenever I am putting 23rd August as an input, we are getting two sales document number 7778. Now, our function module should also give same to same output. It means whenever I will execute this query, I should get 77 and 78 into this internal table. As of now, internal table is blank. Now we all know this is one line in SAP. I will do F6. Now, if I will show you first internal table, are we getting same to same sales document number 7778? If you see that table, if I'll go for table 7778. 
it means our first query is perfectly fine. This is the way how you need to debug, how you need to check step by step is the logic is correct or not. Now we will move on to set. This if condition is true because we have two records in the internal table. It means internal table is not initial, is not null, is not blank. I will do F6. Now I am on to this particular query. Now you are fetching data from which table now? BBAP. Based upon what? First internal table. What is first internal table? LT underscore BBAK. And in this internal table also, which column data is acting as an input VBELN column data? In this internal table, check what is the value of VBELN. Anyways, we have only one column in the internal table. What is the input? 7778. 7778 will go to which column? VBELN of which table VBAP it will fetch the data of these five column and data will come into which internal table LT underscore VBAP. We will see this. Now I will go to second table. What is our second table? VBAP. I will display this table. I will go to contents of the table. Now, what is the input for this table? 7778. What is VBELN? VBELN is 7778. Now, how I will do? You can do control Y. Why I'm showing this? Because sometimes we have so much data. After control Y, just scroll and do control C. I'm doing control Y. Scroll, control C, and paste into VBAP table. Paste. Or you can use this option also, copy upload from clipboard. Now from VBAP, we are taking five columns only. So we will do for those five columns. VBELN, POSNAR, MATENAR, KWMENG and VRKME. I will go for these five columns. Settings, formal list, choose case. Deselect VBELN, POSNAR, MATENAR. You can find now. What is the next? KWMENG. Because it might be at very below level. So you can find. KWMENG and VRKME. Apply. Exit. So when I put 77 and 78 as an input, I got four records from this VBAP table. And this is the data of the five columns. We'll see in this internal table. I will execute this query. Before executing, I will show you Internal table has zero records, zero record. Now I'm doing F6. F6 is line by line execution. So this query executed. Have you seen? We got four records. Same to same data is there. If we will compare. 77, 77, 78, 78. Same to same. 10, 20, 10, 20. 10, 20, 10, 20, 42, 134, 134, 42, 42, 134, 134, 42, 100, 100, 100, 200, 100, 100, 100, 200, and E. It means our second query is also perfectly fine. Now we will go for third. Now this internal table is not initial, yes because we have four records into this internal table. So this if condition is true. Now I'm on 56 number line. Now control will come on to 56 number line. Now from this internal table, you are passing that data to this temporary internal table. 
Just see, as of now, temporary internal table is blank. I'm doing F6. Now you can see four records move to temporary internal table. Now we are sorting that temporary internal table based upon what? Matinar. So we have 42, 42, 134, 134. Now we are deleting the adjacent duplicates. So whenever we will delete the adjacent duplicates based upon Matinar, now we have only two records in the temporary internal table. Now just see the third query. For the third query, what is the input for all entries in this internal table? In this internal table, we have how many records? Two records. And out of those two records, which column data we are referring? Matinar. Matinar. It means Matinar will go to this particular column, whatever is in the first, whatever is in this internal table, Matinar column will go to Matinar column of MAKT table. Check in this internal table. What is the value of Matinar? 42 and 134. It will go to which column of the table? Matinar column of which table? MAKT table. We'll see. Now I will go to MAKT table. MAKT table. In this MAKT table, what is the input? 42 and 134. 42 and 134. Now, now along with this, just check. We have one more where condition also. SPRAS is equal to psi y leng u. If you see what is the language English as of now, because we logged in into English. Now I will put English language also as an input. I will go to execute. Have you seen we are getting how many records? Two records. For the best understanding, I will take three columns only. Formal list, choose fields, Matinard, SPRAS, and MKTX. Now I will show you, I will execute this query in the debugging mode. Now you can see we have two records in this internal table. 42134EE e, steel iron. Just see, we have same to same thing. Yes, we have same to same thing. So what is the summary of this video? In this video, we started doing everything in the debugging mode. Because this is the way how we need to check that whatever the logic we have written is right or not. Open the table, parallelly check. Open the table, parallelly check. So we check the output of VBAK, VBAP and MAKD table and all three queries are perfectly fine. Now in the next video, we will simply, simply understand this logic part in the debugging board because we applied parallel cursor also. How three internal table data will go to final internal table. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.